So welcome you all to this Saturday class and then I trust you all are doing fine. So last week, um, at least we had some massive move in the volatility market. Thank God for, you know, for the signals that were called. And then, um, though I've really been busy, like I just finished all my schedule. So I'm back for you all again. And then now, uh, so thank you so much for those people that checked out me. I appreciate you. So let me just start out from stepping debts, this massive move, like, and also we'll look at what we are looking at for the week. So I'm going to just analyze like at least seven to eight pairs to see what we can have from it, right? And what we do is like, we check out the daily, the daily is up, you know, the daily guides us. And, and then if you look at, you know, personally, what I used to trade step in there is what I call seasonality, right? Like seasonality off from, you know, the, you know, seeing what step index likes doing. So even if you have noticed like step index is a fan of downtrend. So you get what I'm saying? So when we are taking buys, the buys always don't stay for long So when the bulls or when the bears come out. So basically like, as you can see this structure, right? And then obviously price has, price is looking like it's gonna break structure, but we are still looking at how the, you know, the other flow is running through. And if you take a notice of all these, right? Like we still have some of all these imbalances that price will come for, right? You can still see all these imbalances that price will come for. So basically like if we are trying to shut this market down here, we can always take get and, you know, we can always get another entry based on what we also happen or based on what we saw happen during the week, right? And then, so what is making sense again? And then uh, we had this push down, right? As you can see, this was a very clean one to one to 10 risk to reward, right? Basic market structure break, higher, high, higher, low, higher, higher, low. I, I, and then market broke structure and then came back for this last institutional candle. And that's how we show the market down. So basically what am I looking out for? As you can see this area, what are, where I'm interested in, right? Where I'm interested in is this last candle where I believe that market can always come back for that area, anywhere from this in there. And then, um, as you can see again, we still have some imbalances there. So if we get this push down, right? Let me just use my FIB. Sometimes we use FIB just for confirmation. Um, so around that 886, anywhere around this area is where I like to look for an opportunity. Let me look at how the one hour looks like around that side. As you can see, price is already making some reaccumulations over there. Price is making some reaccumulations, so price can might start reacting off from there. And again, um, you see this area, okay? Something like this area. I like this area. Like scale down to the 15 minute time frame. You see where the other area looks like. So we look out for higher time frame point of interest and then you can see what the smaller time frame is saying, right? So anywhere from this area, I like to short step index if price gives us that push. Wow. Let me see who's on the call. So step index looks very bearish. And then, like we said, if we get this push down, it's gonna be a very massive what I call um, a swing trade opportunity because we we'll all be looking to take the market down to, you know, the daily, um, what I call the daily area, this area here, like this area here. If you have questions, just drop your question so that, okay, someone is always saying my, my voice is not loud or my voice is not loud. Oh, I see that. 
All right, so can you hear me? Can you hear me very well now? So, like I said, there are still imbalances around this area that I believe price will still come for. So, um, all right, so thank you so much. I appreciate it. Right, I'm looking at this area for a continuation for step index because I can see that that area looks like, um, look at now, bigger structure. And then this is another push down. So we can look forward to get an entry off from here for step index and um, we keep pushing. So it just look like, let me just mark out the area. But when price gets to that area, I can look out for, you know, how price is reacting off from there. Our price is reacting off from there. As you can see this, okay, like I said, I'm looking out for this. We still have imbalances that price will always come up. So somewhere around this area. And then we can look out for a one minute break of structure. If you don't know how to look out for one minute break of structure, it's a very simple thing. It's the same thing we look out for in the one hour break of structure. You seem to look out for one minute break of structure. So it's like something like this when price is giving us, a, you know, and then you see something like this, you can't look out, right? So look out for the, um, what are they calling the last up candle before the down move, right? And then we start pushing down. That is the same thing we look out for, right? In the one minute and also in five minutes and also, you know, as it really, really implies. So, um, so what, what charts did you want me to analyze? Now I talked about this area for stepping uh, volatility, then I, you know, and then it was a very massive push, right? As you all can see, but based on the four hours time frame, right? Um, right. If we get a break of structure above these points here, right? I'm still I'm seeing that price might come for this area again. That same area that I took a buy opportunity from because you know, as you can see, there was an imbalance here. Price came back to fill this imbalance here. And then looking at the smaller time frame entry, right? You will see that price broke structure. Okay, I don't need to go there, but trust me, we're very clean set up. I marked out that area during the week. And then, I'm sure, if you keep, kept an eye, at least you'd have made some play money. So, what I'm looking out for is market to play this liquidity up, right? And then come back for this area. That's what I'm looking out for this area for, you know, for volatility 10. And then, um, let me just. I will screenshot all this area and then send it to us in the platform so we can just keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on this area. So also step in that area. I think the accumulation has started. Keep an eye on this area too. So what set of the what trade set of the like trading in general? Some of us we like um and crash some people's presence like i like jump because when it start jumping like it's always very interesting right see oh, this is this is jump this is jump 25 right this is a very clean setup so this is, can be like a daily uh what i call it a daily opportunity as you can see we had this clean sweep of liquidity and then one of the one of the things you used to know that smart money is in the markets, right? Yeah, um, it could be one thousand. I will analyze. Just drop the set of you want me to analyze, and then I will go check them. As you can see, based on the structure of these markets, right? We had this um, break of structure, claim break of structure on the daily, right? Claim break of structure on the daily. And then one thing about volatility is that it's very fast. So this can activate on Monday or Tuesday or even tomorrow. I don't know. No, it's never possible. So this area is where I'm looking out for, right? This is my daily point of interest. Is this clear to most of us, right? If it's clear, let me see you type a one. Um, for those people that know smart money, right? So this will not be like a theme. Oh, sorry. I, I just type daily BOS daily point of interest daily poi daily poi and then um the claim breaker structure and then what we look out for 
So let me check the forward. Don't be, you know, this is my timing. It's always clashing together. I don't know why my own trading view is just different from every other person. I'm sorry about that, fam. Let me check the forward time frame. Okay. So all these areas are basically areas of so based on it, on this analysis. This is our daily point of interest. Two hours might have a clean area where we can, you know, make some sense out of. As you can see in the two hours, we have this imbalance around here, right? We have this imbalance here. So now is it like the daily point of interest are like the 50% area. So you get what I'm saying? So this is an area where we can, you know, though we cannot, we cannot start shorting the market because this is very high. The peak is high. I don't like, I don't like a stop loss that is more than, for a minimum account, I don't like a stop loss that is more than five dollars. Even five dollars, I don't like it because I like, I like risks to reward that are very, very, you know, that makes a whole lot of sense. You get like, so let me check the daily point of interest for short send down this market. Okay, like I used to think, the first thing we get is our one to three, and then we look out for areas of targets. So basically, this is a very clean setup, right? So when, let's see how price gives us all this move. And this is also areas of trend line liquidity that price will always come from, right? So very, very clean setup. So that's for jump 50. Let me send that as well. Um, this, I was on the call. Okay, I don't think it's on the call. So let me check out for jump 50. Second. Wow, that was a mistake. So, you know, something about trading is that, you know, you always want to look out for the high probability set, right? You don't just want to just do anything and then um, keep losing money, right? So you want to look out for the high probability setup and, you know, take advantage of the market. So I shared a particular one on this pair. As you can see, this is a bullish pool. So massively, we still have a lot of, if you are a swing trader, honestly, this is going to be a swing opportunity because we still have all this push up, right? All this area of imbalances that price will always come for based on the structure of this market. We have this, right? So we have this push. Um, this is our point of interest, right? This is our trading range. And then let me show you all the four hours. So this is not the four hours, this is 24 hours. So I will take it to the two hours first and back to the four hours. And then we can, I can show you where to get your entry off from, right? Let me go back to the four hours. Okay. So the patience. Um, this is the eight hour setup. As you know, these are all areas of inter external liquidity or internal liquidity. I mean, that price will still come back for, right? The daily broke structure or the, um, here I was looking something like it has liquidity here as inside. As you can see, um, all right. So personally, like what I'm still looking out for is price might come back for this area. Well, I think it has filled that area already. I was anticipating a push down here. Well, obviously, like there was this, um, you know, sometimes price can just come and may not feel uh, whole area. So what do we look out for again here? Yeah. What do we look out for at this area of this imbalance area? We look out for the break of structure because it's our point of interest. Let's see if we get a, a push. Let me check the 15 minute time frame to see if we can get it, you know, to clean break of structure because I'm seeing that that area is, is going to play out. I'm seeing that area is going to play out. One second. So you don't have to now look at this. All right, so look at this so clean. Um, we can see that number one market has broken structure, right? Um, so 
So what am I anticipating? So based of this number one, I'm anticipating price to give us a, a word discount price for this buying opportunity. So as you can see, this is a smart money cube here. And then also a, a other area of our internal candle. Let's see if we get this push off from here. DK, I'm saying. So I'm still mindful of. All right, this is a good area to clean, a good area of setup, right? Based on this um, last down candle for this massive move. And if you notice, they see an imbalance here, right? They see an imbalance here. So is it that we get it open up that area or you can say only 50 percent so where is our area so if this works well i can assure you this is going to be a massive swing opportunity on this fair because look at this now areas of targets has been created by the smart money so clear this area Right, so this is like a one of four. So all these are areas of liquidity, and then a one of four areas of liquidity. So don't mind the way I I did that. Oh shush. So. This is like a one of ten. So, if you love swinging opportunity, right? Let me show you the daily target where we are looking forward to having this massive move. So, what did I do? I'm going to explain again. Um, daily target. We still have all all of all these areas. A massive imbalance is on the daily where price might still come back for. for we like to play the range, right? So must potentially like we can take it to that area, that area of this um this area as well. So it's gonna be a massive move, like I, I trust. So this is the daily high. So these are areas of where, where we can potentially have this push. If this work well, honestly, like if this player will trust me, <laughs> I will just be looking for re-entries for the week, like, and that serves it well. So this is, you know, Forex is about risk to reward, right? Risk to reward, and, in, you know, sometimes when you gain mastery, you forget about the dollar, right? And then you start thinking in risk to reward, right? You start thinking in risk to reward, and that is how we should, you know, if this now i'm playing this imbalance right i'm playing this imbalance so if this imbalance gets stopped out right i still have my last point of interest which is this um meaning that if i risk one percent here i will come back to risk my one percent again on this setup and then i believe you know this will work well i believe it's going to work well yeah so that is that thing. that is that for this trade setup um i will screenshot it and then i'll send it to the team so what else are we looking out for again? Step in the I've checked step index 2751 S. Let me check um 751X and well as 75 as well as 75. I've been selling massively like I like okay. Let me check out um 25 25 has a has a very very awkward movement because of its has been go oh, based on structure, right? Um, based on structure, potentially, like we still like to see price action reach out to this area, right? And then, as you can see, we have this liquidity graph here. I'm going to show you that in the four hours, right? But let me just base my time frame from the four hours. I think Shade Drag to add a setup like that to good work, um, good job, Shade Drag, and um. Is he on the call? Oh, Sawale is on the call. Good evening, sir. <laughs> wow, finally, he was able to be for <laughs> yes, <sir. Yeah. laughs> Wow, I was just having a call. Yes, sir. I've been checking out for you, bro. 
Thank God I have back. Uh, let's drop some fire emojis for our mentor, Mr. Wally. Let's drop, drop some fire emojis for him. Special thanks to him. And then the, the group is really, really appreciative of what you are doing, sir. Let's drop some fire emojis for him. <laughs> wow. Drop some fire emojis. Wow. So thank you so much, sir. We, we appreciate your presence here in this call. <laughs> let's keep dropping the fire much honestly like i'm just happy so based on structure like you all have to be very careful trying to spot out the sure. market structure of this i think i like eight hours let's check out eight hour structure because it, it, there's a lot of noise on the four hours like you'll be able to spot our trend like so you have to go to higher time frame like eight hours that's why time frame is very very important time frame is available for you can you see that we can be able to be able to get time frame very well we're able to get structure very well on the four hours, on the eight hours, right? And then you can see this push, you know what I'm saying? Um, low, high, low. And then market took out this, they took out this liquidity, right? Took out this liquidity, and the market still broke structure. And then you see, you see this push again, they coming back for you. So potentially, like, we might want to come, we might, we might get an entry, a buy scenario from here or this last area. But we can always get up now. This is the last area, right? This is a, like a recent trading range of eight hours made that clear. So you always want so four hours did not give us this information so clearly. So eight hours give us this nicely. So some so you have to be very, very, you know, you have to move from time frames to time frames to be able to gain accuracy in what you are looking at, so that you're not just going to be playing a, a time frame that you just get stopped out from, right? So um Potentially from this, right? You can see that the one hour has a lot of internal and external, internal liquidity, so choppy, like looking like it's, you know, look like as if market is consolidating, whether we like it or not. Um, it is still in a trend, trending phase. Oh, who's, who is there? Okay. It's still it's, not, sorry. Okay, yeah, well done. So it's still in a trending phase. Um, but what I'm looking out for is, you know, I'm really not seeing a setup right now, honestly. Like I'm not seeing a setup from here, except if we get a break of a break from this range and they will come back for this yeah, potentially. If this does not work, then I think we did a call, Shedra. Do you remember? Do you remember where yes, I was showing? Yes, I still, I still, I still have the markups here. Okay, okay. Can you send it to the Zoom? Send it to the Zoom link. I've, Can you mark it and send I've, I've dropped this. All right. So, <laughs> I've dropped your analysis. Volu, I said. Volu, I said. Who is CR7? Is this guy. This the real CR7 is now. Volu, well, you know, me. I'm just saying. Uh, what which footballer did I know again? Well, drop it in the Zoom here. Drop it in the Zoom here so that we'll be able to check it out together. Drop it in this one. Can you mark, go and mark it and send it so I'll see? So, but basically, like this is the trading range for what I'm looking at based on the top four, eight hours time frame. So, if price, you know, if price breaks below this point here, you're mindful, like you can still see this. But I don't just like this price action. It's too choppy for my like. Like, we can It's too choppy. You know, so I, what I, I was I, even waiting for, I was just waiting for price to go to that uh, point of interest. That the point just, of interest. It's just, it's just, it's just, too, it's just too slow for my like. And that's why I've not been trading it. This one, the last time I traded 25 was like, let me see. I can't remember. When I start, when I said that this choppiness, it was, it's going to extend for days. Then I just stayed out of it because you just be sleeping, waking up. You see, minus profit, loss, all these stuff. And I don't like that. Yeah. I prefer, I prefer trades to be very, very fast. And then let's let's know what what we are up for. So somebody said boom, um, from one thousand. Let me check. From one thousand, I think it's selling at the moment, right? And then, as you can see, that is, that is massive push. If you look at the um, um weekly weekly time frame, right? I do I don't have a weekly chart here, but the daily is we can still get some entries for sales, right? Because I believe that they still ah, what's happening. I still believe that there's still a lot of imbalances that price is, we still come back to feel, right? We still have some imbalances that price still has to feel. Mr. Bulu, how are you doing now? 
we'll be having our we'll calls. We'll be having our call we'll tomorrow for quarantine because most of everybody are volatility family. I still had the current home. I just, I just, I just a look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Well done. So now, very clean one. I like this. I like this area because number one, there's still an imbalance there. And then as you can look at this, is like the last up candle before the down. So potentially, if, depending on how, because I'm looking at this sale, this sale is looking massive, but you get what I'm saying? Price, is my, price has started reacting up from this smart money cube. So it might potentially come back for this area before it starts selling. But we have to just be very, very watchful of this price action. Look at this. Let me check the one hour to see how that area looks like. So, <laughs> this is my cousin that I've not seen, but like relatively equal highs around that area, equal high here again. So that area swept it. But we look, you look at it very clean on the two hours because that can do really, really show it's your growth. So at least I've done a markup of. You know, can you see the area on the two hour? You can see this smart money cube again and this imbalance. So let's see how price would give us this nice push down. So if we get if we get this re-entry, maybe off tomorrow or so like that. Yeah, but I believe like daily, daily has given us a nice, this is the daily high, daily high, right? Um the daily, what is call it all-time high of the 1000 and then you can see how the market has started pushing trending down and then we have this um area that is left on touch let me check the one hour to one hour in case we don't get it 786 or we get like something like the 50 percent depending on how the chart or how the movement is going to be like yeah i think i like this area you can see this imbalance sorry you can see this equal highs yeah so price might still come to push that bigger off wow so this is making sense this is making sense so yeah get like three four setups for the week and then you know, honestly my my mother and i were just talking about these seven days like you can have a setup and that setup will just salvage you for the week right like and then that is how to really be a profitable trader. I know sometimes if our trading can just be tiring, like we you want to check for setup, just have a setup that blesses you and gives you a lot of um, leverage, right? And then that is how look at this, what I'm looking at for, you know, so, um, 100 Y. So 100 Y is almost at a point of interest. So I get this activation tonight, but at least, Stepping this has really, really given us a push. So we can have this as a swing trade opportunity. If this work well, like I said, my last point of interest will be this area on the four hours time frame, reach one percent on this area, and then four four hours tears and another area that looks very okay and clean. That is this area here. Because what I'm what we are playing right now is we are playing the imbalance right you now i told you like smart money might activate all from the imbalance and then um also this last area you get what i'm saying maybe possibly but i i'm very very much conservative about that that markup in the sense at least I, I i believe that price can react all from there because the reason why i'm still looking at this area because you can still see this last move this move here you get what I'm saying? And then the same thing, the same thing that I looked out for in the um in this area is the same thing I'm gonna look out for this area in case price eat my SL, right? Because probably trading probability is a break of structure, and then we look out for the premium price and then we start pushing up. So price will always give us opportunities to enter the market over and over again. So we don't want to do anything called gambling, we don't want to do anything like um guesses. No, guesses is not. You get what I'm saying you just keep losing money to the market. Like I said, I love this area. This area looks like this is the last down counter before this market move. So before I can look to get this push, right? I need to see clean break of structure and then massive move down here. And then let's go 15 minutes or five minutes break of structure around that area. Like five minutes or one minute break of structure. 
they keep pushing. The reason we won't look at the one minute is because number one, uh, one minute is always giving us um, opportunities to re-enter the market over, right? And give us that conservative stop loss. And then sometimes you don't want to look at the one minute break of structure at anywhere because one minute can break structure at anywhere. You want to look at your one minute break of structure at your area point of interest on your higher time frame, right? You want to look at your one minute break of structure on your higher time frame. And that's how you keep having that push. And then, you know, look at this now. Um, we had this. Okay, this is jump 10. I think I've analyzed jump 10 as well. So let me check really again. Jump 10 has been trending up. And then it broke structure. What we are looking out for is this continuation. This is the daily time frame, I high low, and broke structure high, and it broke structure. So basically, like this area is like the last up candle before the down move. This area. Let me mark out this area. And then um, I add it over to Star Wally. Just brush some head of this area. This is like you know the lower high, right? The previous lower high trading range. So market is giving us an opportunity to enter the market. So yeah, thank you so much. You all send the markers while I'm done right away after this call.